honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the new holiday set from Too Faced Le Grand Chateau. It comes with three beautiful palettes. I have not done a re full review on this palette yet, but let's just say spoiler alert, I've been getting some good use out of these. And I did kind of take a few shadows from each palette. I also used a blush from one of these palettes. So you'll get to kind of see a range of shades from this set. And I ended up doing a more smoky purple gold look. It's definitely a little more dramatic and fun. I put some big fake lashes on too. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to do something different here on my channel since I'm usually more of a neutral kind of girl. I'm also doing this in collaboration with my good friend Laura here on YouTube. She is Mrs. Lola Lynn. A lot of you probably already know who she is. She's an amazing person inside and out. She's super beautiful funny, and she has great detailed reviews, tutorials, she does Friday favorites every week. I know you guys will love her as much as I do. We are good friends on YouTube and also in real life, so I hope you guys enjoy both of our tutorials. She will be doing a tutorial with another Too Faced holiday palette. It will not be the La Grand Chateau, it will be a different palette, so if you picked up a different Too Faced palette, make sure to check out her tutorial too. Or if you haven't and you're thinking about buying either one of our palettes, make sure to check hers out and subscribe as well. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel and I hope you stick around and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to start off with my new favorite eye primer from MAC, making sure to cover the whole lid as well as the crease and the brow bone. taking this matte cream shade and pot de creme and I'm going to be covering the whole lid to kind of give a nice base for all the shadows to blend against. This I'm taking from that same mint palette a matte crease color or transition color. It's called Fifi. It's a matte warmer toned brown. I'm just using a fluffy crease brush to put that all into the crease. Now in the black palette, I'm taking this beautiful purple glittery shade in Province, and I'm just concentrating that on the outer corner of my eyes, as well as the inner third of my eyes. I am packing this on with a flat shadow brush. This shadow isn't super pigmented, so I did have to build up the color a bit. Back to the mint palette, I'm using this gorgeous gold color in Bonjour, and I am putting that just in the center of my lid. As you can see, I ended up using my finger because it just ended up coming off a little bit more pigmented and brighter like I wanted it to. Packing on some of a darker matte brown color onto my outer corner and blending it. I will be using a crease brush to blend a little bit more of that darker outer corner color into my crease as well. As you will see here, that is the shade I was using prior. Now I'm using a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and using a flat shadow brush, I am dipping back into the Bonjour Gold color to again make it a little bit brighter. I just wasn't satisfied with the pop of the gold. Now taking a Lancome liner, I'm sorry I don't remember the name, will be linked down below, and I'm just going to be smudging this all along my lash line. Not a super strong liner look here, I just wanted to make it a little soft and smoky. Now getting into the face makeup here, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I always use this in a triangle under my eyes, and I am kind of taking it up a little bit higher to clean up my shadow. I will be using a beauty blender to blend this out. I am 
also using the Sigma 3D HD Precision brush here to clean up the edges and not mess up my shadow too much and then softening it with the Beauty Blender. Now taking my Holy Grail Ambient Powder from Hourglass in Diffuse Light. As you can see, it is super brightening and so magical. I like to press this in and then sweep. So it kind of helps your concealer not to crease when you press it a little bit more into the skin. Another big favorite of mine is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. As you can see there, I've hit major pan on it. I am using the Sephora number no. 55 brush, which is my favorite for contouring. I do use my Beauty Blender as well to go underneath my contour line to clean it up a bit, and you will see that in a moment here. For my highlight, I love using the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlight Brush, and this is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now I'm taking one of the blushes from the palette. This is a really cool toned pink that is definitely different for me. I don't usually use a cool toned pink, and it's called Trey Fab. Now to finish off the eye look here, I'm taking a NYX Glide On Pencil, I believe it's called Gilded Gold, something like that, and then using the gold shadow from the Too Faced palette to blend that out. I'm only doing this in the inner third of the bottom of my eye as well as the inner corner. Now taking that Lancome Pencil again and running that underneath the um, outer corners of the eyes and blending that out as well. You see I'm kind of smudging that. Now I'm taking a Butter London Mascara. This is a plastic bristle brush. It's really good at defining the lashes. I will have the name down below. I believe it's called the Iconic Lash. And I will be using some lashes. As you can see here, I only have half a lash on because <laughs> I decided to line my lips as the other lash um, dried. And you will see in a second here, voila, magic, beautiful lashes. I'm now using for the lip a Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Nude. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to watch Laura's look listed down below and subscribe. I love you and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.